Well, hello, y'all. Time for another rant and a raven. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, like my new style here. Uh, I got my uh, <clears throat> electricity bill a couple days ago, and uh, my bill in the summertime, I only used a little fan. It, my electricity drummed me $41 a month. Okay. Then it went up to about 70 And then it started getting cold. Then it went up to around 100 And uh, see, my last bill I paid was 120 some odd dollars. Well, I just got a bill the other day, I don't know, yesterday, day before. It was a hundred and, I think, ninety-some dollars. I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, I, I can't afford that shit. So i got to turn all my damn heaters down and keep it like an icebox in here so I don't run all that electricity. Plus my, my oxygen machine, you know, it, it, ta it takes electricity, so <clears throat> unless I'm up doing stuff, you know, like trying to do a little housework or something like that, I gotta, I just turn it off. As long as I'm just sitting here, I, I don't really need it. But anyway, this being, being the winter time, uh, as usual, you know, YouTube's my only form of entertainment because I can't afford ever them, uh, internet. Hell, that's damn near gets to be around a hundred and some dollars a month. And they, they say, oh, it's only going to be $60 or it's only going to be this or that. Shit, by the time they figure in the tax on this and the tax on that and the, uh, insulation on this and all this other bullshit, you're going to run uh, close, close to $100 a month. And I had to just drop the TV part, the cable part of it, because I couldn't afford it. And I could just barely afford this damn internet. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, as long as I got it, as long as I can afford it, I'll, I'll still keep entertained with YouTube. But boy, I tell you, YouTube could piss me off so bad. Oh my God. If it ain't shit about Obama, that's so bad. And, uh, or you got, uh, like today, I was watching, uh, some, uh, videos about these. Uh, Rambo cops. You know, this, this one, he's, he's a, he was a Marine, Marine cop. And, uh, they come to this, uh, <clears throat> this guy, and this guy was telling that, you know, people broke in his house and he stole his this and that and the other, and he had him in the house, you know. And, uh, This damn copy, he just kept getting in this guy's face, you know. So he t he told him, he says, man, don't get in my face. He said, uh, and he, he, he kind of took, took a step toward him because the cop was trying to get in his face. And when he did this, this damn cop laid his ass out. Bam! I thought, you saw it. If I'd have, oh my God. I, I'm sorry, people. I finished something. I know we need them, and there might be a one good one in the woodshed somewhere, but the way I look at it, he ain't no better than any other cop on the, in a police force because they go by that code of, uh, you, you, you look, you watch my back, I watch yours. You see me doing something wrong, you just turn a blind eye to it. 
Now, every once in a while, they'll, they'll have something come up, you know, and, and a cop will get. But they never get no big sentences out of it. They might get suspended without pay, or they might get transferred to another precinct. You know, when I was first got in to run, run in with the cops and had to spend some time in jail, it was at this uh, little place called Prison Farm because they had a big garden in the back and we'd grow vegetables for the stores around town. Every damn guard in that place was ex-cop that got kicked off of some damn police force around Kansas. And they shipped his ass there to fin finish out his retirement. And I'll tell you what, they were some doozies in there, let me tell you. And I worked in the officer's mess and uh, in the kitchen. It was my job to wheel all the officer's mess into their, their dining room and sit there and refill their water and their coffees and whatever. And the stories I heard them cops talk about would curl your hair. Oh, yeah, last night I was on parole and I was over by the park and, and I seen this good looking little old chick and, and, uh, I stopped her, told her her tail light was out or something and told her, we, you know, we can take care of this if, if you don't want a ticket. You know, and, and this bullshit like that. I lived in a town where, uh, a woman was called, she was a nurse and, some some lady called her up and says, is there something wrong with your house? She said, no, I don't think so. My daughter's home. She's sick. She said, well, there's been a cop at your, your house for the last three, two hours. She said, hmm. So her, she worked about three blocks away. So she got somebody to watch her shift for. And she comes home and finds this big old black cop up in bed with her 16-year-old daughter. And all they did was slap his hands and, and suspend him for, I don't know, 90 days and without pay. You know, so I ain't, I ain't got no respect for no cops. Don't like them. I know we need them. But, you know, they're just like politicians. When you deal with cops, you're dealing with the lesser of, of the evils. Just like I told you in this other video of mine. You know, they come to my house looking for my son, and they wanted to go in my house. And I asked them for a search warrant, and they got all huffy. Oh, you're going to play that game on us, huh? And they ended up throwing me in jail for disobeying a police officer. Ain't this some shit? Well, anyway, uh, I just got finished watching these damn uh, videos about... And Pierce Morgan, that's a sorry piece of crap. I would say ship his ass back to England where he belongs. Get him out of the damn United States. And uh, all these damn pompous ass cops, you know, they uh, they are they are told from Jump Street, you know, arrest, 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 arrest. And they say that they don't have quotas? Bullshit. Because every person they get in jail, they get paid, they get money for. So if you get stopped by the cops, nine times out of ten, if there's any, if you just are so docile, yes sir, no sir, I'm sorry sir, just, just cower down to, you know, they're going to uh, taking you to jail. They'll make up some bogus ass charge resisting arrest or, or, you know. But anyway, like I said, we need them, you know. But I tell you what, I guarantee freaking tell you this one thing. If the shit ever hits the fan, it's them that have to watch because they're going to be the ones breaking down your doors to get your guns. The military more than likely will be on our side because they they have a little character to them. But these 
you know, they're the ones that are going to be breaking your door down and confiscating your guns. And if you even give them any slack at all, they'll smack the shit out of you and take your ass to jail. That was proven in New Orleans during that Katrina. This old lady, they broke in her damn house and she had a gun and they wrestled her around and it's a wonder they didn't give her a damn heart attack. So, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm sorry I'm for ranting and raving. I, I, just, I just see this shit on the internet and it's either <clears throat> Obama and that... that Okay, I, I didn't think I'd ever hate anybody worse than I did Bill Clinton. But if he come up to vote right today of electing Bill Clinton back in office and kicking Obama out, I'd vote for it. Because at least he's an American citizen. This Obama, you don't know where the hell he's from. I just seen one of a, a, a videotape day where Michelle Obama admitted that he was from Kenya. So anyway, uh, I better <clears throat> cool down before I give myself a heart attack. But uh, all this shit that's happened in the last week, man, it just piled up and piled up and piled up. And it's just, you know, having problems with my, my daughter. And, and then uh, the utility bills and the... Uh, all this other kind of stuff, you know, and I'm wondering where the hell I'm going to get this. I only make $1,000 a month. And, uh, you know, yeah, my, my rent is cheap. But damn, man, if you take my rent and my, my utilities now, that's over $500. That's half my check right there. You know, so. So anyway, y'all, uh, I don't know what the answer to this is going to be, but uh, you know I'm 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 an old man and I I ain't got uh, I ain't physically able to uh, do anything a young man do fight back and all this bullshit. So I've just got to take what they give and like it, but. Uh, I tell you what, it's this sad situation, folks. We're in a sad situation, and we was fed this lie from from when we was kids about America, the beautiful, and the land of the home of the free and the brave, and all this bullshit. You know, that might have been the way it was back then, but they've got so many damn communistic, uh, socialistic assholes up there in Congress now. They're pass passing law behind, laws behind on their backs, sneaking shit in. They go to pass a law, and it's it's not cut and dried like, okay, uh, such and such, so and so, uh, this is what we want passed. Uh, we want roads for this and that. It comes out in a damn stack this high. Ain't no politician in the world going to read through all that bullshit. And all these special interest groups, they're throwing shit in there and they're going to throw shit in. They had a, a gal out in California. She was at an interview and this, this, uh, this one guy says, did you bother reading that bill that you just passed? Well, yeah, it's just for this or that. He said, how about section six and such and so and so? And he started reading it out about to her. And it had something in there about uh, forms of bestiality being uh, uh, legalized. And all kinds, of, you know, you, them politicians don't, don't know what to tell her signing. They sign whatever the damn special interest groups tell them to sign. Now, we need them. And I guarantee if it wasn't for the NRA, we'd be in sad shape. And please, if you ain't a member of the NRA, 